what's up YouTube we're back with another video and as you can see well wrong side behind me there's now an empty space and why is it an empty space because I'm going to show you a completed set and it is the Make-A-Wish um, metallic blue I want to say Funko Bob um, I had no intention of originally getting the entire set um, one maybe two was really what my goal was and then I just was like oh well this is cool and then this looks cool and then I see them start so I'm like ah this is this looks nice this looks better than I thought it was and it kind of ended up to me just missing one and I had to go online and buy that one so I will show you where it started and then we'll go all the way through them and I'll show you where it ended so the first the, the must have for me um was not making surprise surprise I um I looked at them, and I was like, ah, oh, it's going to be one of these obscure obscure ones, like probably Stormtrooper or Iron Man or Sully, which would be the, the grail of the of the set. And surprise, surprise, there it was the Mickey. So he became the hardest to get, and his price just keeps going up. So, but there was one, I think it was the only one that had a different color in it, too, yeah. Um, there was one that they had, and I was like, I have to have this. This is I have to have. There was no answer. I have the original version of this same mold, but it is the Make a Wish Winnie the Pooh. This thing is absolutely adorable, and I don't know if you can tell, but I'm pretty sure this is the only pop that has a different color in it besides the blue. Yeah, he's the only pop that's different besides the blue. He has the yellow for the honey. I don't know. I'm not taking it out today. But he has the yellow and the honey pot. So this for me was the must have of the entire set. Just my camera a little bit because I don't like the camera. But he was definitely the must have. He was the first one I bought. And the moment I saw him, I said he's the most adorable thing I've ever seen. So he was the Hot Topic exclusive. This is Winnie the Pooh. And you want to see what the back looks like. Boom. Boom. So who was the first? Now, I don't remember who I got second, because I really don't. So, I'm just going to go through the line. I know it wasn't you. So, I'm going to go through. I think that's mostly comments I went with next. So, the next one I will show you will be the Cheshire Cat, which I actually have a mold of him laying around somewhere. Actually, there's a Blown Dark Bam exclusive that's the exact same mold as this one. So, he is the Cheshire Cat. He is like him. He has a translucent blue tail. Nice blue metallic -y look going on. I'll show you the box. Cool. Alright, so that was the Cheshire Cat. Um, after I was saying, this is kind of where things got kind of weird, and I was like, I'm not going to buy them all, and I did, and I ended up with the one that actually made the most sense in blue. Sully. He actually made the absolute most sense in a blue color. You can clearly tell. He's heavy too. He's a heavy pop. No. Boom. 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 So Sully actually made the most sense. He's a pretty heavy pop. He's actually, I actually like him. He's, he's a really good metallic blue. Um, and I think most of these, I wasn't sure how I feel about them. Like, for example, BB-8. BB-8, BB-8 has some weight to him, but he is awesome in metallic blue. Um, he actually has a stand, he has his Star Wars stand, which is make a wish, but he is absolutely amazing in the metallic blue. So yeah, definitely, definitely, if you're a Star Wars fan, I highly, highly recommend the BB-8. He is by far so good in that metallic blue. Um. No, I'll save you for last. The one that actually I should have known was going to look good because anything Spider Man always looks pretty good. And he looked pretty freaking awesome in the metallic blue. I mean, I know Spider Man actually looks awesome in blue, but he looks amazing. He has that leaping pose, he has a clear stand that holds him up. But he is absolutely awesome. So at this point, so I think even if it wasn't this order, 
I think I was at four or five when I decided it was time to build a set. So I was about halfway through before I, just, I was picking up random ones before I decided to just do it. It's time to just do the set. And because I'm actually enjoying these more than I thought I would. Uh, Pooh was actually my only purpose buy, and then everybody else just kind of happened randomly. Um, I really thought I was going to be able to get Mickey from the stores, but I didn't. But speaking of Mickey, I did find the Mini. The Mini was pretty easy to find. I still see her, and I see most of these in the stores a lot of places. Mini has seen that most, I think the only exclusive one I showed you before is the Pooh, because he was the first, but every other one's common. You'll find them in a bunch of stores. I have seen Mini, I have seen Sully, I've seen, I think I've seen them all. Um, laying around random stores. But Minnie is the cutest in the metallic blue. She has a polka dot dress. Her short heels are on her tail. She has a stand. But yeah. Boom. So Minnie was absolutely a great, great purchase. Now we're going to get into the exclusive. So I did show you the Pooh exclusive. Now, that was only available at Hot Topic. The next one I'm going to show you is only available at GameStop. And it was the Stormtrooper. This is actually the one I didn't think I wanted. I really didn't think I wanted Stormtrooper in my collection. I didn't really... I don't know. I'm a Star Wars fan, but not, not a big fan of the Stormtrooper. It's kind of like Boba Fett. They're just there. They're characters. They're great. They serve purposes of the story. But I didn't think I wanted them. But the moment I saw them actually in GameStop, I was like... He's actually pretty badass looking, and he has, again, the Star Wars Make-A-Wish stand. So. So that's the Stormtrooper. The Stormtrooper actually ended up looking pretty cool. Um, the next one I have for you is the one that probably most people say you're absolutely ridiculous to buy because most people don't like how Funko does their stuff on their website, and I get where they're coming from, but it was the Funko exclusive Iron Man. Um, I picked him up with some other stuff, and Iron Man looks pretty badass in his metallic blue. Um, the problem I had with this one, and I still have it, even though I own it, is the eyes of the Iron Man costume and the metallic blue. They don't really stand, and then, then there's not enough contrast there. It's like, okay, cool. Like, Spider-Man's eyes kind of contrast with the black, the Disney characters have the black eyes. Stormtrooper, like all these characters have black eyes, except for the two Marvel characters. They have these silver eyes. At least Spider Man's has black and then the silver. But Iron Man's just silver. So it doesn't really stand out as much. But this was the Funko exclusive. I want to say this is still available on the website as we speak. Um, I know Stormtrooper is still available on um, GameStop. I. Not really sure if Pooh's still available on a Hot Topic. But that was the Stormtrooper. I know I've seen him at games. I know I've seen him available, and he's not that expensive. So most of these, if not all of these, you can get for just around retail price. Except the last one. So the last one, to be honest, I didn't think was going to be the mega hit of the set. I didn't think I'd have enough to fight for him. I didn't think I'd have to hit eBay for him. I didn't think I'd have to hit anything for him. I think I'd actually hit Macari for him, because Macari had the best price for him. Um, and I'm not talking huge David, I'm talking like a couple bucks. But he was... So when I originally realized that I needed him for the set, and I was going to do a third party, he was 30 bucks. I was like, okay, that's a good price. It's dumb. I'll wait till I get paid and buy when I get paid. Well, payday came and now it's up to 40. So crap. Um, well, took care of the necessities and went to buy him, and now he's up to 45, almost 50. And I was like, oh my gosh, this guy has went up almost 20 bucks in a week where is this going so i was trying to buy some off ebay kind of cheap kind of like the 40 dollar range and i would just get outbid <clears throat> up to 50 bucks just like that i was like let me see if i can find them cheaper so anyway so the person i don't know who sent them, this it was a box lunch exclusive mickey mouse he's not available i keep seeing posts that say he's available he becomes available but i highly doubt it it's a box lunch exclusive Mickey Mouse. I was actually surprised the main character um, ended up becoming the one that was the most expensive and the hardest to get. Um, Mickey, like Minnie, looks absolutely awesome in the metallic blue. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to tell you right now, if you are a, <coughs> if 
you're a fan of Disney or Marvel, and you see these guys in the wild, give them a look. Don't ignore them. See if you like them. I was one of those ones that went, mm, Pooh's awesome. I could see a couple of the other characters being cool. Okay, I see them in the wild. They look cool. I'll buy them. And then, next thing I know, I'm one, two, three, what, nine of them? <clears throat> Mickey is actually the hardest to get. I wish I had grabbed him when I saw him originally on box launch, but I didn't. I made the mistake. I waited. And he is now, I think the last I looked was like 45, still 45 to 50 bucks. So he's going to cost you a couple bucks. But overall, this is an awesome set. I love the Make a Wish stuff. Um, I think the Metallic Blue worked out much better than I would say even Funko anticipated. I think people actually like this set. I mean, I've seen it, like, I've watched people pick these up. Like, I'll pick, pick up a Spider-Man book and then put them down. And then by the time I walk around the store and come back, Spider-Man's gone. Um, so, and I really don't see many of them out in the wild in my, in where I live. But what I do see them, it's like one or two. And there's usually one of like three different characters. And then if I come back in two days, they're all gone. So, I think people overall like to make a wish set. And I'm going to tell you right now, you should go check them out. If you have the set, what do you think of it? If you have one or two of them, what do you think about the couple that you bought? Um, yeah, I'm I'm pretty pleased with the Make-A-Wish. Um, it's the, I think it's actually the first set I completed. No, yeah, it's the first set I completed. So I got this in before I finished the 50th behind me. Um, yeah, it's the first set I completed. I highly enjoyed it. No. Yeah. It's the first set I completed. So anyway, I... My mind all over the place. Like fireworks. Um, yeah, that's the first set I completed. And that's more than four figures. So I highly recommend, again, I'm going to say it again and again and again. Check it out. And hopefully you find one or two of them you like. Remember, these were all made in a good cause. Uh, people did, of course, you know, they were people doing reselling and make, make some money off of them. But they were made in a, for a good cause. So I highly. I recommend supporting good causes. And until next time, I want to show more sets, you need to hit that like and subscribe button because I got stuff to show you, but you're not going to see it if you don't subscribe to my channel. I think you should subscribe. What do you think? Yeah. Anyway, until next time, take it easy. Have a good one. Peace.